So we're going to be talking today about how to tell from an equation if lines on a graph are going to be parallel or perpendicular. I want you to turn and talk to a neighbor real quick. What do you already know about parallel and perpendicular? Can stop. What could somebody volunteer? What do you already know about parallel? Yeah. Parallel are when they're like this, you know, like. They're not touching they each other at all. Okay. They go on forever without touching. And the particular is when they cross each other. They get 90 degree degree angles. Angles. And they get 90 degree angles. If you look, these are the symbols for parallel and perpendicular. Yes. Nikita. Yeah. These are the symbols, and this is exactly what we just saw an example with pencils in the air. Perpendicular shows that this is the 90 degree angle if you're looking at the symbol for it. Yep. Right? So let's take a look inside at some lines on a graph. It's pretty clear looking at these two examples that they're both parallel, true? Yes. Yeah. Let's spend a little bit of time writing the equations for the line. Let's look at this line here. What is its y-intercept? Um, two. 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 Let's find its slope. Let's do rise over run. So draw that triangle in. What's its rise? One, two, three, four. What's its run? One, two, three. So the equation for line AB is y equals 4 over 3x plus 2. We found the slope here is 4, rise up 4, run across 3. So that's where we got our 4 out of 3, over 3. And it crosses the y-axis at positive 2. So the y-intercept is positive 2. What do you notice about this equation? It's parallel. The only difference is going to be where it crosses the y-axis, which is at negative 2. Yeah, so if we do the rise over run here, we're going to get the same numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. So this equation is y is equal to 4 over 3x minus 2. So a fact that we can take from just doing that first example, if two lines in the same plane have the same slope, then they're parallel. <laughs> A related fact to that is that if two lines, again, in the same plane, are parallel, then they have the same slope. get the equations for this other pair. If we're looking at line EF, first of all, what would slope dude say about this line? So it's going to be a negative slope for both of them. 
It rises up one and runs across one, two, three, four. So it's negative one over four X. And for line EF, where does it cross the y-axis? So it's kind of high. At positive one. Okay. Where does the second one cross the y-axis? Negative, <laughs> negative two. Yep. So if you have two lines that are parallel, you find the slope of one of the lines, and you're just looking for the difference in the y-intercept, and you can write both equations. I'd like you guys to flip back to the cover real quick. And I want you to write across here, same slope is parallel. If we have the same slope, then it's parallel. And now we're going to deal with perpendicular, which is not the same slope, but there is a relationship in the slopes. Remember, this is being recorded, so if you're behind on some of the things I've written down, you can go back and scroll through or come and borrow my foldable after. Right now, I want you totally with me looking at these lines. Let's look at the line for AB. I'm going to write Y equals, and then I'm going to think about, is this a positive or negative slope? Positive. And I want to find the rise over run between the points A and B. So there's my rise, and it's going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How far over is it running across? Oh, wait a second. Did I do that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm like, yeah, I did not do that right. So it's... Its slope is 6 over 2. What does that convert to? 3. three. So I can erase this and put my slope is 3x plus what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I want to look at line CD. Is it positive or negative? negative. So we're going to do y is equal to negative. What is the slope between C and D? Three. One over three. It's 1 over 3, x. And where does it cross the y-axis? One. Positive 1. Positive one. <laughs> there is a relationship between these slopes. They're not identically the same. Anybody see what it is yet? Oh, I see it. They're perpendicular. <laughs> the lines are perpendicular. What do you notice about the slope? They're the same. Like slopes. It's like reverse. They're flipped. One's Negative. positives. One is. Okay, let's do this one and see if we can figure out what the rules are with this. Line EF, is it positive or negative? Yeah, positive. So Y is equal to, what is its rise? 1 over 4, and then minus 1 for the y-intercept, yep. What about line GH, positive or negative? Negative. Y is equal to, anybody want to predict what the slope is? 3, 16. I think 1 over 4, I think it's 3. 4 over 1, never mind. I'm with Juna. Okay, if I rise up, that's a lot. It's 8 over 2. What's 8 over 2? 4. Negative 4x. Where does it cross? It crosses at 4. 4. Okay, so in this one, I have a positive 3 over 1 and a negative 1 over 3. In this one, I have a positive 1 over 4 and a negative 4 over invisible 1. Okay, here is the main fact. If two lines are perpendicular, then their slopes are, this is the big vocabulary, negative 
reciprocals. Negative reciprocals. A reciprocal is when I multiply two things, I get the answer one. And in this case, I'm going to get the answer negative one. If I multiply three over one times negative one over three, please write it down. I'm looking at these slopes here. I'm multiplying three over one times negative one over three. I get negative three over three, which is negative one. Be because they're negative reciprocals. What's the case with the second example? We have one over four times negative four over one gets us, I'm talking over a lot of voices, I'd like to not, negative four over four equals negative one. So with that, we're going to take a pause. I want you guys to get caught up, get this glued into your notebook. And at in five minutes, we're going to do some work from the book with this information. Okay?